continue where we left off. Um, repetitive stress injury. Uh, using the device may make your muscles, joints, neck. Um, let's see. Um, muscle, joints, neck, hands, and uh, skin hurt if any part of your body com becomes tired or sore while using the headset or its components, or if you feel symptoms such as tingling, numbness, burning, stiffness, stop and rest for several hours before using it again. If you continue to have any of the above symptoms or other discomfort using, um, using, uh, during or after use, stop use, and see a doctor. Uh, accessories. Your headset and software is not designed for use with any unauthorized accessory. Use unauthorized accessory may result in injury or other. Okay, refer to the accessory instructions, proper installation, blah, 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 blah. Uh, install, use wrist straps, use lanyards, interference with medical devices. The headset controller may contain magnets or components. Okay, yeah, yeah, yada, yada, controller batteries, choking hazard, uh, and just battery if battery is swallowed, so they were talking about the double A battery, electrical shock, uh, contagious conditions, avoid transferring contagious conditions like pink eye, do not share the headset with persons with contagious conditions, infections, disease, particularly the eyes and skin or scalp. The headset and controllers could be cleaned uh, between each use with skin-friendly, non-alcohol, non-abrasive antibacterial wipes with a dry microfiber cloth for the lenses. Do not use liquid or chemical cleaners for lenses. Replace the facial interface on the headset if it becomes worn or cannot be cleaned. Um, Skin irritation, the headset is worn next to your skin and scalp. Stop using the headset if you notice swelling, itchiness, skin ir irritation, or other skin reactions. But similarly, hand controller, please stop. Use if observed any skin irritation. Uh, device temperature, it is important to check the temperature of your device and the front surfaces get hot to reduce the risk of injury. Caution, do not touch hot surfaces in prolonged periods. Use an environment to avoid the damage to the headset. Do not expose them to moisture, high humidity, high concentrations of dust, or airborne materials. Temperatures outside of their operating range. Direct sunlight. Keep cables away from children and pets. Um, not a medical device. This headset and accessories are not medical devices. They are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Keep away from pets. Avoid damage. Keep a headset, charger, cables, and accessories away from pets regulatory information there's regulatory information limited consumer warranty um which i don't really care to read fcc information so that's the oculus go um unboxing pretty much in full and um you bring up the oculus app on your phone it connects with the oculus you type into the phone where the what the uh, Wi-Fi address is, to, and then it programs the 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 headset to connect to the Wi-Fi router, and then you set up your account. And since this is Facebook, they probably will try to get you to set up with a Facebook account, because um, because Oculus is owned by Facebook, it's owned by Mark Zuckerberg. So um, this is Mark's baby and so that that's that's that that's a 64 and i've got another one to unbox and what i'm going to do is i'm going to show this baby off to some people at work um people that wouldn't normally be able to afford these things or have the time to use them um i just want to give them a taste of what um is what is coming down the pipe and what will um be possible forms of entertainment for them whenever they're uh, on their days whenever they sit at home in bed and sleeping or watching tv and they would probably rather be on an island somewhere uh, in the pacific uh watching the galapagos uh dragons komodo dragons or whatever um 
you can have those experiences in VR um, that make TV look like uh, watching a postage stamp, you know. Um, TV can't compare to the experience of VR. Um, I don't know why people have such a... Um, it seems to me that there is a... There is a stigma, a social stigma with VR. People see it as um, complete. this complete immersion into VR as being... Uh, dangerous to social but the thing that what really comes out of vr is you come to the realization that when you meet people in a vr space you are forced to be sociable you can't even use cell phones in the space and so you become a more so you become what you would be in reality if you didn't have any technology you become a sociable being and in fact it has the effect that whenever you're in VR and you're meeting people, you can't tell their age, you can't tell their sex, their race, or anything about them. All you see is a person, and you're forced to interact with them as a person. And that changes you as a being, and that you're able to accept other people's differences without seeing their differences. Um, it has a way of... Um, it, it will have a way of bridging a lot of gaps that we have in our in our society um, by forcing us to uh, interact with uh, others and that we probably would have some sort of uh, stigma to otherwise you know um, such as you're you're probably going to meet some gay people you're going to meet some lesbian people um, you won't be able to tell, and you'll be forced to draw those conclusions. Um, you'll be forced to um, to accept them because you know you will become friends with people that you would no not normally accept. Um, that's what VR does, and it's great. It's a great force in that respect. Uh, it will turn conservatives into liberals, it'll turn liberals into more liberals. Um, it might not turn liberals into conservatives, but it has the effect of being able to do such things, I swear. Um, so, let's um, stop this sucker. <laughs> yeah, and your conservatives are probably going to become liberals. Um <laughs> I, I'll, I'll claim that it does everything that you hate, you conservatives. Um, but uh, you conservatives would not uh, uh, would not uh, accept anything if it was if it struck you in the face until you really believed that you needed it. That's the way conservatives are. That's their that is their um, how they are as uh, people. They don't accept new things. They only stick to the old way of doing things. They are un, unable to accept new changing ideas. Um, so people who are visionaries don't tend to be conservatives. Um, conservatives tend to be, um, I don't know. <laughs> I think they tend to be uh, very careful and concerned and worried and fearful. And uh, liberals are not. Um, they're only fearful and worried and um, concerned whenever conservatives are uh, doing something that's stupid, like voting in uh, really bad presidents. Um, so that put aside, I know I had to turn this into a political argument, but it came at the end, so don't worry about it. <laughs>